Hey, my name is Kara, and I am a project and licensing manager at 604 Records and Light Organ Records. Um, I do a little bit of everything there from day to day management to marketing to pitching for film and TV sync licensing. Um, pretty much have my hands in almost everything, so that's what I do. So, one of two questions here. The start off part of your job, obviously, is assessing the songs of the artists on your roster yes. and uh, determining which songs um, are suitable for sync and then pitching those songs. Um, okay. So, do you want me to talk about sync and what's oh, well, suitable? The, the question would be um, for artists. How would one go about both critically assessing their songs and determining whether they're suitable for sync licensing? So the first thing I would say is go and watch TV, go and watch movies, current TV shows and current movies, um, and see what fits in, in those shows. Listen to your music, is this something that lines up with the genre of this show? Because every show is going to have uh, different things they're looking for. Some are more into a certain genre, some want only hip hop and techno, some want... Um, only singer songwriter some want epic pop songs like so if the first thing i would do is look for the shows that you like and find out what kind of music that they want the other thing is to find out what is being done in canada because it's much harder if you're canadian to get into the american market for sync licensing so find out who the top like five to ten music supervisors are in canada and go and look up what shows they're working on and what they're looking for before you even approach them and the other thing I'd say is when you do approach them, don't just send them random tracks with no information. Make sure all your metadata is in there. Who wrote it? How do they clear publishing? How do they clear master? Which is like who wrote it and who owns like the physical recording? Who, um, who they contacted, they want to use it. All of that stuff matters and it all needs to be in the file because if you're going to send them a link to a download of a file, they put it on their computer, it comes up, no information, no name, no way to contact you, they're never going to use it. So it's like... There's lots of steps, but I'm, a lot of Canadian companies are actually always actively looking for music and they want your music. You just go to their website, you look up Canadian Music Supervisors, I'm sure three or four will come up. There are submission things on their website. If not, there are contacts. Listen to what they're looking for. Don't just send them everything you have. If they're looking for songs that are country only, why would you send them a pop song? So it's like, know what you're pitching for, be very specific and make sure they have all the information they need if you're going to send them music. Does that answer your question? That's perfect. All right. And, uh, sorry, if I could just add one yeah. thing. When you're going about that, uh, going about that pitch, going about that approach yes. with uh, music supervisors, is it essentially do they prefer only co contact them by email? How persistent um, should you be, and how specific should you be with your suggestions of where their songs fit? Um, you need to be very well researched. So um, you need to understand what master is and what publishing is, what aside means. If you're just going to send them music. Uh, they're not, they don't have time to sit there and explain to you how it works. So go and research how licensing works. Go and research what shows they're working on. If you're sending them music, make sure it's music that they need. Um, don't email them to death. Like A lot of them have a submission section on their website, and if they want to get back to you, they will. Um, they, are, they get so many emails all day, every single day, that they're not going to get back to you right away. So maybe don't drive them crazy, but you know, send them an email with the link that is streamable or downloadable. Do not use attachments ever. They don't want them. They want all your information in the metadata. The easier it is for them, the better, because part of their job is hunting people down to clear songs so they can use them in their show. So if yours is easy to clear, you have a way better chance of it being used and way better chance of them responding to you. And if you send them what they are looking for, you also have a better chance. So don't send them country if they're looking for pop. Don't send them pop if they're looking for rock know what they're working on even see an email hey i want to pitch for such and such show here's my songs i think they fit perfectly in the genre that you're looking for all the information is on this the link you can either stream or download um, if you need anything here's my contact information and like the more clear concise to the point the more likely they are to respond to you perfect great thank you very much you're welcome